Вітаю вас. Починаємо черговий брифінг. Greetings. Here is an update devoted to dispelling fakes and propaganda of the aggressor state. In recent days, there are more and more staged news reports saying that the inhabitants of the occupied city of Melitopol are happy under the Russian administration, in particular to the switch to the Russian ruble. In particular, the Russian propaganda resource RIA Novosti, or RIA News, published material about how people in Melitopol pay in rubles for petrol. In this case, it is an obvious setup. Rubles are handed in the window to the cashier, and then one of the station workers thanks Russia for bringing fuel in. There were also stories about the swimming pool. Allegedly, a new pool was built in the city already under the occupation regime. Though there was one even before that. It is reported on camera that from now on the cost of the admission to the pool will be two times cheaper than before the occupation of the city. It is clear that both stories, the ones about gasoline and rubles, as well as the second story about the swimming pool, the entrance to which, by the way, is paid in hryvnias, the Ukrainian currency. Both of these stories are intended to create the illusion that the city functions normally under the Russian regime, that people have already put up with this and see no problems with it. Clearly, the audience for this fake is Russia itself, because no one in Ukraine will believe it. Furthermore, the people who take part and these stories are clearly playing out their roles. They do so with primitive acting talent. It is also noteworthy that both stories were made up by Russian state-owned channel, by the aggressor state. Another fake was created by the Russian media, this time on Kadyrov's channels. The fake states that they allegedly captured a Ukrainian fighter who confesses on camera that he took part in combat operations against Kadyrov's forces was captured yesterday during an operation. I admit that I waged war against civilians. But as revealed by attentive Ukrainians, in particular the co-founder of the cathedral in Mariupol, Kirill Dalimbayev, who recognized this man, he's a homeless man who was fed in the temple. He allegedly pretended to be a Ukrainian scout just for Kadyrov's propaganda. This man is known by many people as a man who leads an antisocial way of life. He often came in drunk. Some people called him a bum. This is a man who agreed to introduce himself as a Ukrainian military man. He hardly deserves any compliments. The fake itself proves once again its primitiveness and that Russian propaganda is ready to use anyone who gets its hands on it. The next fake that we will debunk is about the death of Alina Mikhailova, a deputy of the Kiev City Council who serves in the first separate assault brigade under the right sector. Reports about her alleged death were published on the propagandists' Twitter pages, in particular such as the Donetsk Ruski, Russian Donetsk. It was reported that she first recorded a video of burning Russian army vehicles and was killed a few hours later as a result of retaliatory strike by Russian military forces. I personally contacted Alina, and she is doing well, alive and well, and continues to serve the Ukrainian people. And the fake itself is another example of primitive lie by the propagandists of the aggressor state. We wish Alina a long life. Traditionally, Russian propaganda tries to erose sympathy of Europeans. Consider just presenting themselves as a victim. They attack Ukraine, killing Ukrainian civilians, conducting real genocide and destroying infrastructure. At the same time, using various primitive technologies, they try to present themselves as a victim before the European audience. Allegedly, Russians are being illegally persecuted in Europe, or Ukrainian nationalists are attacking Russian monuments in Europe. In particular, the inscription appeared on the memorial to victims of the World War II in Berlin's Treptow Park. As our embassy in Berlin reported, it was a provocation set up by the Russians themselves in order to cause the same syndrome of sympathy from the side of Germans who have sentiments towards Russian citizens. Once again, I urge you to adhere to information hygiene. Trust the official media, the Ukrainian army, and the Ukrainian political leadership. See you later.